If it is the woman that passed away in this house, can you grab hold of this device? Grab hold of my hand and let me know that it is you. Or is it a different spirit? Maybe not. <gasps> oh my. In today's episode, we were out exploring in Wales. We had already checked four other locations and had no results on our investigations, so we weren't expecting much from this secluded cottage hidden in the countryside. We were very much mistaken. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in mid Wales and me and Matt are about to check out this absolutely beautiful abandoned house that's left in these woods. The story of the house is there was once an old couple that lived here. The woman passed away and her husband couldn't deal with the grief, moved into care and the house has been abandoned ever since. We're gonna head straight inside, we're gonna do a little explore and then we're gonna investigate and see what's left behind. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Can't wait to get inside there. Right, with that said guys, we're gonna head inside. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores and let's get to it as we ventured inside we could see some of the couple's possessions remained in their home beds were made hand carved furniture remained and the table was still set also vandal damage was quite obvious in the house we found the house had been abandoned in the mid 90s when the owner passed away in an upstairs bedroom from the second we stepped inside it was quite obvious that we weren't alone maybe the owner was still here trying to protect her home maybe she was trapped and couldn't move on or maybe it was something else entirely. Okay, explorers, so we are inside the house now. Proper vibes in this place, out in the, in the middle of nowhere in the woods. Me and Matt are gonna have a little explore of the place now, and then we're gonna start our investigation. Place is only sw quite small, so it shouldn't take too long to have a look around. It's quite nice and bright as well in here, isn't it? Yeah. Some bits. Well, that's room, that's it. Yeah, you go upstairs and it's pitch black. <laughs> but it is an interesting little house. Like I said, still got the three-piece suite. Still sat here. These Vancouver BC cushions. You can see it has had quite a lot of vandal damage. The windows have been boarded up. Still have the curtains though. And then there's just like trash thrown behind the sofa and that here. Proper shame. Fittings and fixtures have all been like pulled off and that, haven't they? Yeah. So cool though. I think it's more vandals on it. Yeah. But we do have an old sewing machine. Because it's not a bando without a sewing machine. Still got the f cotton on top as well, look at that. But this is a mad little place. Because saying you can tell it was obviously once proper beautiful little house. It's a shame, these dust particles coming through on this beam of light, it's so nice. You can see these big fireplaces now. A bit darker here already. The other armchair, nice big stone fireplace. Like I was saying, it is proper vibes in this place. Old English farm wagons tray there. We do believe it was older people that lived here. And the uh, woman of the family did pass away in the house still see bits and bobs left little ornaments and trinkets but love this old big stone fireplace i doubt there's any electric but that'll be all right for the k2s just checking it but little pan of this room now absolutely spot on nice it is a nice place it is a shame boarded up windows again like we will show the outside here he is, big man. <laughs> Checking the place out. Nice dresses here. Still a few bits on there. Still a few little bits. Sticker. But you can tell, like, this would have been completely full, wouldn't it, with all oh, yeah. cups, saucers, all the bits and bobs. It'd been a lovely house, mate. Right? Oh, oh, mate, that is proper jammed. <laughs> Can't open that. Can't open that. Oh, here we are. There's a few little plates in here down the bottom. A few little bits and bobs. More ornaments. We are here to investigate. Like I said, guys, we are here to investigate. 
we do believe that there was an older couple that lived here and the female of the ha uh, house passed away upstairs in one of the rooms. We are going to go up and check that soon. You can just tell that they had a nice peaceful life out in the countryside here. Unreal. Not sure how long this place has been abandoned but it's still got the dining room table. He's got a year on it. 1993 on there. Check that out, 1993. Sunshine Carnival. Crazy. Yeah, see those adverts then. Look at the adverts. 1994. DFS still had a sale on. It's cool to see the old stuff like that. More little ornaments. Broken there though, shame. This got a year on. Nagadoo, it does not have a year on. Shame. But like I said, goat and still hung up here. Dining room table. Look at the retro carpets, Matt. And they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. Proper like your nan and granddad's gaff. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Just remind me of that. <laughs> what, you in that kitchen? Yeah. Alright. Nice little kitchen, mate. Is it? Yeah, it's not bad. Two ways in there, look. Yeah. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> bit like small the for like me or you to live here. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you like the colours? Bright yeah. orange being your eyes. Being it's proper retro colours, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 70s, this. <laughs> look at the curtains, though. Why you said proper retro? Same as these as well. Yeah. Proper orange. <laughs> On the carpet, bloody hell. Yeah, they loved it. Loved a bit of orange. Look at the fridge here. Empty. It's empty. Yeah, it's a shame. But, you know, house has been trashed well, a bit, hasn't it? Yeah. You can see they would have had all their cups and uh I'm surprised the place is still in one piece, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's only small though, isn't it? Yeah. It's only a small little place. The sink here. Oh, Look at this. Yeah. So cool. Oh, the fella's flask. Still on the draining board there. Oh, so it's just flew at me head. Little jars. Cutlery. Anything down here? There's your bags for life. Outlasting the uh, actual owners of them. Oh, look at this on this side. More old cups, plates, pots and pans. But it's crazy. It's crazy that this has just been left, to be honest. Like we're saying, such a nice house as well. Look at the old uh, cooker there. Crater Cavalier. Lovely stuff. Someone's been cooking a tea bag there. Cooking tea box. <laughs> yeah, there's a tea bag in the uh, in the cooking pot. Hell of a saucepan, aren't we? Yeah. Hell of a saucepan. Hell of a saucepan. Look at these. Utensils. Cool little patterns on there. Um some seasoning. Nice. Bit of rosemary. All the windows have been boarded up. More cutlery hidden away there, some bog roll. But guys, that's pretty much it for down here. We are gonna head upstairs now, check out the bedroom, check out where the uh, the female passed away in here. Begin our investigation after that, Matthew, eh? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's head upstairs. You can see that, see that shoes are still here, bro. Shoes are still here. Stairs falling away. Quite dark up here. Oh, has been cleared out as well. These shelves cleared out. Like I was saying, vandal damage. Some utes have been in and kicked the hell out of the wall. Look what's happened here, though, guys. What is the sawdust all over the floor? Don't know who's been sawing what. But check this bathroom out. Look at these tiles. Quite good condition, to be fair. The shower. Oh, imagine someone was just stood behind that then. <laughs> just hiding in there, waiting for us to jump out on us. Try and bum us. Look at the toilet. Ugh, do not look in there. That is disgusting. Oh, somebody's obviously been caught short. Just an airing cupboard there. Loving these tiles though, they are sick then. The sink there, someone smashed the mirror. Obviously somebody with issues. Because I don't know why you'd do that otherwise. But this is nice. It's a nice quaint little cottage there. I am proper looking forward to investigating this place because it is vibes. 
bit of artwork still left but absolutely loving it so far shower's freaking me out oh, but look at this bedroom number one single bed in here dresser again somebody smashed a mirror somebody don't like the look of themselves smashing all the mirrors bro no artwork there nice little dresser that though it's a really nice house isn't it it is, it is a proper shame about this one. I don't understand that it's abandoned. No. Well. I really don't. Obviously passed away, haven't they? Yeah, but surely there's family. The, the amount of beds in it. Yeah. I don't know, I can't explain it. It's, sometimes you get a backstory. Well, uh, if we find any names and that, we'll do a bit of research. But you can't always do it, can you? Got a bed here, a single bed. A second single bed here. Just hidden behind the door. I'm saying still boarded up upstairs somebody's really not wanted this place to be vandalized but hey ho the table on here loving these wooden beams check these out these are so nice is that what is that i thought that was a bat to moth there's a couple of moths up there i genuinely thought that was a bat then right guys the next room we're going into is the room where one of the occupants of this house did pass away like i was saying maybe we'll get a bit of a uh, Maybe they are a bit angry, you know, with the house being trashed. Yeah. So we might get something. Yeah. Might want to tell us something. Tell us to yeah. bag her off, probably. <laughs> I'll stay as a protector. Yeah, you don't know, do you? <laughs> but this is actually the room that she was passed away in. Passed away? Passed away in. You can see people have just been having a session here. All beer bottles and stuff. So God knows what's going on in these beds lately. There's a wine bottle hanging out the wall there. It's a bit random. But check this, three single beds in here. It is a shame. It is an actual shame. Imagine being the one that woke up and found somebody had passed away in one of these beds. And then just like vandals have come in and just been using it for God knows what. So we are stood in the room where the woman of the house did pass away. It's very cold in here. It is vibey in this place. I am really looking forward to getting the equipment out. Uh, we're gonna do the K2s, spirit boxes. We're gonna get the music box out. We're gonna try all sorts, even the SLS app. So fingers crossed we do get something. I'm really excited about it. And uh, yeah, let's get it done. Okay guys, so first off we're going to walk around with the K2s, we're just going to do a little lap of the house, see what we can get, fingers crossed we'll pick something up, if we do we'll focus more on those areas of the house. First off, get the K2s ready, you ready Matt? Yeah I'm ready mate. And then we'll have a little walk around and see if we get anything. Okay, alright, it's my favourite. Hmm? This is my favourite. Right, you ready? So if there's anyone in this house now, do you want to come forward? Do you want to let us know you're here by touching the devices? By making a knock or a bang in the house? Do you want to reach out and grab my hand? And let me know that you're here? The lights will change from green to orange or red. If you want to reach out and touch them, it'd be absolutely amazing. We don't mean any harm in this house at all. We're just coming to look around. We see that people have trashed it. If that angers you, do you want to touch the device? Right guys, nothing at all at the moment. Not even a flicker. Maybe by these chairs. Interesting. You got anything yet, Matt? Yeah, we ain't getting fuckers there. Are you? Yeah. I haven't had nothing at all. Just turn all the light down so it's not as um not as bright. Oh yeah, I'm getting stuff in here you now. Get some, yeah. yeah, just uh just flickered slightly. Can you touch this device again in my hand? Show us that you're here with us. It's not gonna harm you in any way. Mate, mine's just going Thank all the way to red. So <gasps> is yours as well? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> That's good, mine's still going off. Can you make it brighter? Maybe go all the way to red if you get close to the device. Mine's still flickering slightly. Absolutely nothing in the living room, man. We're done it. 
Coming here, it's not here is where they spent all their time though. So you do home. find that, don't you, with a lot of yeah. older couples. My nan and granddad they used to chill most of the time in the dining room yeah. area. So it wouldn't make sense, wouldn't it? That yeah. Though? If there's anyone in this yeah. room with us now, do you want to grab this device in my hand? Let me know that you're here, <gasps> mate. It just did it, as I said. I'm pretty sure mine did as well, but I wasn't. That's interesting. Yeah. That's cool. If there's anyone sat around this table, do you want to reach out, grab my hand? Do you want to knock something? Bang. Mine's going. <gasps> Mine is. At the same time? Yeah. That is, that's good. <laughs> that's well good. So exactly what we want. Remember when someone was like, put them off in the same room and if they... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it, it, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Mine's Twice we've had it now, isn't it? Yeah, mine's still going off, yours isn't. Can you touch my device as well? The one on the table? Sat and dove down, see what happens, isn't it? Yeah, both just flicked at the same time. Yeah, both at the same time. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Go. All the way to red, look. All the way to red. Nowhere near it, guys. Nowhere near it. Good, free foot away. Mine's not doing it, though. Let's change that. Mate, they just might be on this side of the room. Can you come to the other side of the table? Maybe touch the other device? The one that's on the newspaper? Mm. That's a good idea. Do you want to touch the device that's on the newspaper there? Just put your hand off on it. Both gone quiet. Yeah, they've buggered off. They've buggered off, Matt. That's good, though. It's what good. a start that is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good start. Mate. I'm happy with that. Right, let's just set that down, sort this out. I'm all cock handed with my uh, camera now. Mine's flickering now as well. Is it? Went all with the red then, yeah. Isn't that weird? It is, but very strange. Does anyone in this kitchen area with us, do you want to grab hold of this device in my hand? Let me know that you're here. Let me know if you're the person that passed away in this house. Just setting it on top of the cooker there. That's so strange how they were going off at the same time when they were together. Me and Matt were a good six feet apart there. That is interesting. Can you grab this device if you're unhappy with us being here? We don't mean any harm whatsoever. We are just coming to have a look. See if you are in the house, see if, there we go. Here we go guys, flicker in there. Does that mean that you don't want us in the house? You don't want anyone in your house? Gone quiet, gone quiet. Do you want us to be here? Is it nice to have some company in the house? Hmm, interesting. That is very cool. Right, we... I'm going to head upstairs. Mate, I just went to red, mate. As soon as you came in, it went off. Did it? Yeah. It was going all the way to red, mate. Oh, there you go. Mine's doing it too. Look, let's stand quite far apart. Still doing right, it. Right, opposite ends of the room. Is yours doing it still? It's flickering, yeah. Mine's going orange, red. My, this was completely dead in here before, though. Completely dead. Nothing. Red, mate. Gone. You went all the way to the run and died again. All right, I'm gonna head upstairs, see if I get anything. So we are getting a few bits, and they are in sync as well, which is really good. But I'm just gonna head up now. I'm gonna start in the bathroom, basically the same order of what we did before, and in the bedroom that the female apparently passed away in. Heading to this bathroom where those big turds were lurking. If there's anyone upstairs in this room with me right now, do you wanna grab hold of this device? Do you want to let me know that you're here? We don't mean any harm whatsoever. We are just here to look around and maybe communicate with you. Are you angry that somebody's been in and vandalized your home? Does it upset you? Hmm. Let's head into this bedroom here. Is there anyone in this room with me right now, in the bedroom? Anyone lay on the bed? Do you want to reach out, touch this device, let me know that you're here with us? Let me know if you're angry, 
that we're here or if you're happy are you lonely in this house are you trapped here how's yours doing Matt I turned it off now mate how have you yeah I'm quite happy with what I got yeah right I'm just going to check this last bedroom then so this is the room she apparently passed away in if there's anyone in this bedroom with me right now do you want to grab this device take hold of my hand let me know that you're here <gasps> oh my days right on cue in the room that she passed away in can you t can you turn the lights all the way to red by really grabbing hold of the device can you let me know if you're angry that we're here do you want to be left alone or would you like some company do you like that we're interested in your home that's strange if the woman that passed away in this house is in this room with me right now can you take hold of my hand let me know that you're here oh it's flickering when I say stuff like that can you let me know which bed that you passed away in by setting the device off when I hover above it? Doesn't seem to be anything here on this one. Is this the bed that you passed away in? Are you still here? Would you like us to leave? I don't think they're playing that game. Not gone off above any of them. There's mouse poo all over this bed. That's vile. If it is the woman that passed away in this house, can you grab hold of this device? Grab hold of my hand and let me know that it is you that we're talking to? Or is it a different spirit? Maybe not. <gasps> oh my God, Matt! What? I've got shivers. Why? I said... Is it the woman that passed away in this house? Yeah. Nothing. I said, is it a different spirit that didn't live here and it's going all the way to red? It's still going off now. That has just given me shivers. Actual shivers. Can you... Oh, my God. Can you let me know if you're an angry spirit? Can you change it all the way to red if you're really angry and don't want us to be here? It's going to orange and red, flickering on red. That is insane. It's still going off. So it doesn't look like we're actually dealing with the woman that lived here. We've got something else. Seems to be someone else. That is insane. I didn't even move. Didn't even move. Right, that is crazy. Gonna leave that there. What a result that was. Straight when I said it as well. Let's head down. Yeah, Matt, so I said, can you let us know if it's the spirit that passed away in this house? And absolutely nothing, yeah? Yeah. And then I said, can you let us know if it's a spirit that didn't live here? And it went all the way to red way for to about red. a minute. It just stayed at red. Well, just it holding it on red? Holding it on red, but it didn't do anything before it. And then after I started asking questions again, it didn't do anything again. Weird. So it seems like it's not the actual yeah. woman that lived here. So I wonder what it is then. It's somebody else. That wow freaked me out. But we're in the middle of nowhere, aren't we? We are in the middle of nowhere. That wow freaked me out then. Right, it guys. <laughs> Should we do SLS? Have a little walk around with that? You up for that, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Let's do it. Right, explorers. So, we have set the living room up. We have got two ramp pods, one on the chair, one on the stairs. We have the cat balls in the centre of the room. And we have the music box, which will set off if anything passes through the centre of the room. So Matt and I are now going to walk around with the SLS app and uh, we're going to leave a camera on in this room so if anything goes off we will see it. Should be interesting. Hopefully we'll, we do get something. I'm, I'm feeling promising. Yeah. Right. So you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Right, let's do it. It's recording. Right guys, so SLS app is ready. We're just not going to knock any of this equipment whilst we're going. Oh, oh it's you. That was me. Is it? That's not me. Can we stand back that, say? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That, <laughs> that I yeah. nearly I fired him. Who's that? <laughs> right, okay. So, are we getting anything in this living room? There seems to be something by that chair there. Seems to be something quite small down by that chair. Maybe it's just picking up on something. Not 100%. Got the chair there. Oh. I think we did just get something. No. Yeah. Right, that's gonna go off. That scared me. Yeah. This is working. Yeah. You're nowhere near that, are you? Mate, that's not me. I'm not close enough. But everything's going crazy, mate. Look, that's me. Mate, how is this still going off? Mate, I'm going to stand here for a sec. <laughs> Mate, it's picking up something here, but it could just be the windowsill. Right, that... Right, that's me. Yeah, that is definitely you. That wasn't me. No, that wasn't you, mate. Because I'm closer to it now. I haven't moved it, so you can see on this camera that you're exactly the same. Yeah. Look how close I am. It's not going off. I don't think that was me, bro. It wasn't me. I'm convinced that was just whatever's in here, honestly. It's going off again, mate. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> There's something near you as well. It's picking up all sorts. Wait, I'm so happy with it. <laughs> What's bleeping? I don't know. I don't know what that is. But look. Wait, the music box just went off. Did it? It started turning out one little bit. Mate, that's not me. Can you stand in front of the device next to the sewing machine as well? It'll play a tune for you. Mate, that's still flashing. Can you see how far away it is? Yeah. Can you set that device off more, the one on the chair? If you get closer to it. Can you make it bleep once for yes and twice for no? Is this the spirit I was speaking to upstairs? Mate. <laughs> I don't know what to say mate, honestly, I'm messing up with my camera. That's me. Can you make the lights flash on the device? <laughs> Can you set the music box off by walking in front of it? Can you walk up to the music box for me? By the sewing machine? Mate, I've messed a lot of my... Mate! <coughs> Can you do that again? Can you set the music buff off again? I can't even talk, mate. Mate, this is crazy, mate. We've never had anything going off. Can you knock one of the balls in the middle of the room? Do you put your ass, ass off, mate, so I can go all the mine? I don't know what's going on, mate, honestly. That's me. That's you, yeah. Right, guys. I don't know what the hell is going on here. The REM pod's going off. The music box is going off. We've just had to st stop the SLS because just what I don't know what's going on, mate. Can you can you touch the red device that's bleeping? Can you set the other colours off on it by touching the device? Can you walk in front of the music box again by the sewing machine? Or can you knock one of the balls in the centre of the room for me? If the spirit I was speaking to upstairs is trying to contact us, can you grab or knock one of these devices? Can you walk in front of the music box there by the sewing machine? They're not going to harm you in any way. It's your way of communicating with us. Mate, that is the freakiest thing that's ever happened.
mate we've never had it happen before and all of a sudden it's like everything's going off not two bits of equipment on separate sides of the room yeah, going yeah, off yeah, yeah. the GoPro would have caught all that as well I don't know if I haven't stood in front of it I forgot it was there that's not me I'm not in the way it's not me mate because the beam's in front of it the beam is in front of it so it's definitely not me either not me can you try and set the device on the stairs for us if you go close to it I was wondering what that was on mate this is so weird this is so weird Do you know what I feel like doing? An EVP. That went off. Yeah, but it wasn't do you, wanna, me. do you wanna speak to us through an EVP? Is that what you'd like? Do you wanna set the device off again to say yes? That was weird. Would you like us to do an EVP where you can speak to us? Mate. Honestly, I can't even explain it, mate. We've never had anything like this go off before, and all of a sudden. No. It's all happening. <laughs> this is crazy. We're going to have to do it, mate. He wants to speak to us. going to have to, mate, yeah. <laughs> Whoever it is, because it said it wasn't the woman before. Right, we're going to leave these bits of equipment. Look how. Yeah, that's. It's. Oh, oh that was me. Yeah, you I just it. stood on it. Right, so. That's still going off over there. I know. Bro. No one's near it now. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. I, honestly, I, mean, I don't know what's going on here. Right, thank you. Did you hear that? Yeah, the music box went off, mate. Yeah. Right, thank you. We're going to do an EVP where you can speak to us. We're going to have to, bro. What's up, That's a car. car. Oh, I'm on edge now, mate. I am, now. <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it, mate. If the spirit that's setting those devices off has a message for us, you can speak to us through this device. Let us know who you are. Can you tell us your name? Can you tell us if you are the woman that passed away here or if you are a different spirit? People that watch this channel know that my spirit box, uh, yeah, REM pods do not go off. So We've this never is had them go off any moment. No. Right, I can't even do this because the REM pod's not stopping. Yeah. Maybe we're going to have to turn that off and let force them to speak through this. Yeah, because... Because you can't just have that no. beeping in the background the whole time. That's me. It freaks me out every single time. Yeah. Okay. Right, that is so weird, mate. Right, let's try again. Can the spirit that's setting the devices off, can you tell us if you are the person that passed away in this house? Or if you are a different spirit that doesn't want us here? Mate. None of us are near it, mate. What is going on here? This has never happened. Wait, I'm like excited, but I'm nervous at the same time. Can you speak to us through this device or set one of the devices off to tell us to leave? Can you tell us the name of the spirit we are talking to? Shaking, bro. Right. Can the spirit that's setting the devices off, can you tell us if you are the person that passed away in this house or if you are a different spirit that doesn't want us here? Mate. That's no, 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 what is going on here? Wait, I'm like excited but I'm nervous at the same time. Can you speak to us through this device or set one of the devices off to tell us to leave? Can you tell us the name of the spirit myself, we're talking then. to? <laughs> no, that's so weird. Should we do one more? If the spirit that's setting these devices off, can you tell us your name 
or if you want us to be here or not simple yes or no can you tell us if you are the woman that passed away in this house if not can you tell us your name can you tell us how many spirits are in this house with us if the spirit that's setting these devices off can you tell us your name or if you want us to be here or not simple yes or no Can you tell us if you are the woman that passed away in this house? If not, can you tell us your name? Mate. What? I swear I've just seen a shadow down there. In the kitchen? Oh, wow, was not. Can you tell us how many spirits are in this house with us? Seen a sp- uh, uh, honestly, mate, like a white spirit went like that and just disappeared. Well, not a spirit, but like a shadow. I don't know why it wasn't. I don't think we're getting much on there. Is this any spirit? You reckon you've seen something there? Yeah, there was, there was like a shadow on it, honestly. But I didn't pick it up because I was looking at you. Right, that's me. Like you, yeah? Yeah, that's me, man. Right, so you've seen something in here. Honestly, Where did it move from? It just like went across here, this wall there. From no right idea, it, it was like a bright shadow. It's not even possible, a bright shadow. No. Yeah, that's what it looked like. It's just a light, isn't it? Honestly, I have no idea because it's pitch black in here, isn't it? Hmm. There's no light in there. If there's anyone in this room of us now, do you want to make a knock or a bang? Set off one of the bits of equipment in the other room? Go grab that REM pod. Set a REM pod up in here. <gasps> Mate, music box I just heard it. It's going off. There's no one even in that room. No. Mate, that's insane. Yeah. That. No? What? It sounds like footstuff, mate. Where from? Upstairs. Mate. We're not even in the room. What is going on? I just heard footsteps and that's going off. Mate. Can you make it stop? <laughs> Mate, what? This is the most we've ever had. I know. Thank you for doing that. It's still going on. I heard that. I heard that. You heard that bang, yeah. I heard that. Mate, I've got shivers, mate. I think it's coming from the bedroom. Mate, I've honestly got shivers. It feels like my hairs are standing up, mate. I don't know what's going on here. Mate, this is the most we've ever had. This is ever. crazy, mate. I, I'm just holding your ramp there, I don't know why. Right, should we go upstairs while we heard that bang? We can set the equipment up upstairs. Yeah. Just bring your ramp there. Mate, I don't know what's going on, mate. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're panicking. Panic. It's got like proper nervous, mate. Right. We're not going to keep rolling, right? We're yeah. going to take this equipment upstairs. We're going to set it up in the bedroom and we're going to yeah. do the same. Let's, let's do it. Now. Okay? <laughs> Don't panic, lad. <laughs> I'm not panicking, I'm just nervous, mate. I've, it's never happened before. Not this one. And all of a sudden, it's just going crazy now. Right, okay. Do not leave that ramp on the stairs? Yeah, okay? leave it on the stairs just in case. Mate, I heard footsteps and then the baby clock side going off and it went Right, okay. Keep rolling. Oh god, that's pale. Disgusting. Music box. Here. The rough box on there. That's in my hand. Put it on the floor. No, put it on the corner of the dresser. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I'm not saying <laughs> Why? Because I need to run. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Right, so if the spirit that I was speaking to earlier is in this room, can you set one of the devices off or knock one of these balls for us? Same as you did downstairs, just walk in front of one of the devices, grab a hold, just let us know that you're here. Man, this, this is insane. 
But I don't I'm even. So on edge yeah, anymore. I don't even know what's going on, mate. Honestly, it's crazy. I've not even turned my camera off, mate. I've literally been rolling for like 14 minutes now, That's and it's not stopped, mate. Right, I'm all over the place. Can't even find this bloody app. Nah. <laughs> 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 Right, so if the spirit I was speaking to earlier with the K2 is in this room with us now, can you speak with us through this device? Can you let us know what your name is? Quiet, mate. It's never been that quiet. That's great, that's a little one. Can you let us know if you are the spirit that passed away in this house? Dead. Dead. Can you tell us if how many spirits are in this house with us right now? Bleeding. Whatever we had planned for this house has just gone out the window, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Literally has it. Can you let us know if you're a positive or negative energy? Can you let us know if you were the person that made the bangs that we heard? Can you tell us if you're the energy that made the bangs we heard from downstairs. Can you set one of these devices off for us that are in this room? Same as you did downstairs, just go near to the devices, walk in front of them. Was it a painful passing? Was it quite peaceful? I said don't even. Like don't even ask kind of thing. Mate, I'm so on edge. Yeah, I, mean, I don't like it a bit at all. Can you tell us if you want us to be here or not? <coughs> Leave. <coughs> Guys, if you can decipher any of this whilst you're listening at home, can you leave it in the comments? I will give it my best shot whilst editing, but sometimes we miss stuff. Can you set one of the devices off like you did downstairs? It's not like no. Stop. I don't feel like I'm really getting anything through this. I don't feel like that's actually. Downstairs real. was just. Downstairs ridiculous. was insane. What do you reckon then? We go downstairs. Yeah. Set these up again. Yeah, and then go into the back room. And do spirit box. Yeah, let's do it. Right, guys. We have set the uh, equipment exactly back where it was it before. We've kept the uh, GoPro rolling, so if anything happens, we will pick it up when we're reviewing the footage. K2 on the side, K2 on the dining room table. Hopefully, mate, we get something again. Mate, look at that coming through. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, so we'll just do another necrophonic in here and see what happens. Okay. Okay, so we're back in the dining room. Can you set up? Can you set off some of the equipment like you did before or speak to us through this device? I know we've had a lot of activity downstairs. We just want to carry it on. Do you have a message for us? Can you tell us if you're an uh, evil entity? Okay, two's going off. Can you set one of the bits of equipment off in the other room like you did before? Can you tell us your name? The name of the spirit we are talking to? I'm just going to say it. Is this a spirit or a demon that we're speaking to? I swear that I just said demon, mate. I just went for it. Just had that feeling. Just had a vibe. But what do we do if it isn't? Uh, we leave. 
<laughs> I'm an exorcist. What do you want me to do? Right, so can you ink you something that said before? Right, so if this is a demon that we're speaking to, can you tell us your name? Wait. Something. Something. That was clear, wasn't it? Something. Two. Mate, I've never wanted to be the type that would be out going into demon stuff. Oh, neither do I, mate, to be honest with you. Didn't even believe in ghosts before we started all this. Yeah. Can you give us a strong signal that somebody's in this house with us? A thump, a bang, a knock. Set some of the equipment off. Can you give us a strong signal that you don't want us here? Mate, I really don't want to be going into demon stuff, but I'm just feeling it. To be honest. It's not something I want to be venturing into, to be honest. Can you tell me how the girl in this house or woman in this house passed away? <laughs> Mate, it's freaking me out. I got proper bad feeling now. Actually, I was on it. Why was it so quiet? Yeah. Just weird. Right, guys. Um, like I oh. said, we never really wanted to venture into demon stuff. It's a bit mad, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to be doing it. But well. this is the most activity we've ever caught on the devices. <laughs> REM pods going off, K2s going off on, on command, um, the music box going off. Yeah, never had any of them. Never. This is crazy. It seemed like it started off upstairs and maybe followed us downstairs. Well, I heard them footsteps, mate, and then the music box started going off, and then we both heard the bang. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on, mate. Right. Right, guys, we are going to leave it here. We've had a good explore. We've had a look around. The most activity we've ever got, but I've just got such a bad feeling that I shouldn't yeah, be yeah. in here right now. Yeah, I'm just not enjoying it. And as you and Dale know, when I get feelings, I'm usually really bright. <laughs> So, um, right guys, we're going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed it. I, hope, I don't even know what to say, mate. My head's gone. We'll see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>